we're gonna do a proper real-time review so what we're gonna do story You're born as a slave, but basically you're a noble. And your bastard brother kills your father, or better to say his father too. And now you need to get your estate back and your noble name back. Two countries at war. That's what I figured out. Now, far less the main plot. The story in this game they actually needs a writer I guess there was no writer and this CRPG is a pure example why writers exist even if they funded a writer which is around 10 to 15 years old you know a proper talent for a thousand bucks he would do better than the devs did in terms of story in terms of writing in terms of conversation in terms of responses in terms of every fucking thing that has to do with a line of text all right now i don't care about the main plot main plot is call it classic holic however you like it doesn't really matter if there is a big thing wanting to destroy the world or if you want your country back or if you want to win a war or, or i don't know all of those cliche storylines it, it really doesn't matter that that's not the point i'm only talking about writing and how it's done it's straight straight bad and they need a writer so two out of ten for story what's next <coughs> bugs optimization no crashes no bugs no glitches sometimes companions can get stuck if they run on each other, but that's nothing. Loading times are solid. 9 out of 10, considering it's an early access. Game time. The shorter this game is, the better if they don't hire a good writer. All right. It's unfair to, to talk about game time on a better think about it since it's early access. We're gonna reduce that one. Uh, difficulty. Most of the enemies in the game you can kill with a left I'm click needed. without using any... Co not most. 99% of fights, if not even 100% of fights, yeah. can be done with a character by left clicking on an enemy and killing it. And this is a hardest difficulty, veteran. All right. So they need to up the difficulty by at least three times. Because I can't even imagine how it feels on novice if it's like this on a veteran. All right, you want some real challenge by yes. Let's be real. Difficulty. Yes, yes, three out of ten is difficulty. Maps and graphics. I 
I absolutely love the style of the game. Hmm, Water effects course. are amazing, shadows are good. Uh, character detail, not that much, although it's good. Oh, you know, for an indie title, all of this is good. Amount of detail is good, variety of maps is great. What next? Why not? Mini map is that very like clear. World map is done very well. Although the cities feel a bit empty. Where's the world map? World map is really done also well. I like it. So... The art style is good. When you read those books, art style is also good in those books too. But the writing is not. Uh, for maps and graphics... For maps and graphics, for maps and graphics, considering this is an indie title with limited resources, they did well. It's gonna be 9 out of 10. Gameplay. Uh, I'll go wherever I'm needed. Classic CRPG, okay. Sneak, unlock. Characters don't react when you steal. By the way, NPCs just don't react with formation, with resting mechanics, with combat with pauses. It's not on my way. I, I don't know, it had some charm from 90s, okay? From old games, old CRPGs of 90s in it. And I like it in that regard. But the combat feels clunky. You don't feel the impact of your hits or of your spells, alright? Uh, it doesn't stink and it doesn't smell well. Alright, and when I say that, it's usually this, 5 out of 10. Ah, uh, what now? NPCs and enemies. NPCs, again, your companions are straight bloody brain dead, writing is just bad. That transfers also to other NPCs in the game. No one here is memorable, they don't have a single memorable NPC. The only one I remembered is that Lord from the start of the game that got murdered and butchered. <laughs> Everything else is just straight bad. Enemies, as far as I can tell, they, they'll have huge variety of enemies. From undead to animals, spiders, insect, insectoids, golems, cyclopses, so on, so forth. Goblins. They're gonna have every type of enemy in the game. So. <sighs> it lacks immersion. Okay, NPCs are what give the game the immersion. And it lacks immersion. It really likes immersion. Four out of ten. Leveling. An itemization. Interesting leveling system. I like it. Alright, I really like it. Between general skills, class skills, weapon skills, and then we'll find a solution. Yes. And then you get uh, team party level up also with different shit. Carry more stuff and so on, deal more damage as a team, blah blah blah. And then you got this progression here with greed that I really don't know how it functions because it's early access and I guess. It moved a bit by Generous, okay? It moved a tad bit on the right when I was Generous and idolized. 
and this moves a tiny bit here toward being famous. Uh, I love the idea behind leveling. They tried something new, and that's very good. For the itemization, inventory is a pain in the fucking ass. Okay, there are way too many items in the game. Hilarious amount of items in the game. Not enough slots. You get encumbered non-stop. You can't play from encumbrance. You literally can't play from encumbrance. It's holding you off non-stop. On every five minutes, you need to sell. On every 30 seconds, you need to rearrange the inventory and to use an item, then drop it to someone else, then drop it to someone else so you can actually move. Okay. What it consists out of also, out of these recipes that you cannot learn, all right, but you need to read how to do something, then you need to use drying, all right, to dry the ingredients, and then you need to brew the ingredients to get a consumable so you can use it. Now, what's the point of consumables if you can left click on every enemy on the hardest difficulty? What's the entire point? You don't need to dry or brew anything at all. The idea behind it is good. Implementation of it just fucking sucks. Okay, everything is annoyance. Inventory. Inventory is atrocious. It's just good. fucking disgusting. I'm talking about this part of the inventory here on the right side. This one is done well. I love this part over here. This thing is so fucking atrocious I can't even look at it anymore. It, it, it murders my will to play the game. The inventory here. Uh, Netrios. So, what shall we do with leveling and itemization? I love the idea behind leveling. I love innovation behind it. I love left part of the inventory. I hate its encumbrance and uh, you, those consumables be brewing and drying. That's completely useless. And it should be useful on the hardest difficulty. You shouldn't be able to win fights without it. You know, not a single fight without consumables. And unfortunately, it loses its purpose. Four out of ten. Music and sound. They got some voice acting in the game. Music is relaxing. It doesn't of distract you from gameplay. Good tunes when you enter the inn. When you're exploring. Nothing memorable though, but it's then again, it's not here. annoying too. Alright. So again, it doesn't smell. Oh, it doesn't stink and it doesn't smell well for music. Sound effects are solid. When it's there, voice acting is below mediocre. Slightly below mediocre. But in most cases, voice acting is not covered. But I, I can't complain that much hmm. about it because it's I'll a indie it. game and it would be stupid. Or if you have good voice acting, or or to be fully voice acting. I I guess six out of ten. Six out of ten. <coughs> well, I missed something. Only the game time that I can't implement on early access, right? So, what do we got? Forty-two. 
5.25 out of 10. Slightly above mediocre for early access. My prediction for the full release. If they don't acquire a good writer, and if they don't smooth out combat, up the difficulty, make those consumables useful. If they don't do that, final release. Is this potential score if they change a lot of things? Taps is 8 out of 10. Or black gaze here. Yeah? I'll go wherever I'm needed. That's what I think about black gaze here, Couriers of Darkness. Slightly above mediocre. That's about it. Guys, we play a new game tomorrow. I'm done with this one until I see a full release, then I'll come back to it and see what they changed and how it looks like. For today, that's gonna be it, though. People, as always, thanks for watching. And I wish you all good night. Probably Baldur's Gate 3. I installed it. Probably Baldur's Gate 3 tomorrow. We'll see. 90% chance I'll.